Hello everyone and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Today I got into the festive mood a little bit more because today we're going to talk about something fun, something that I really like a lot. As you saw in the title, this is the video about my top 5 Christmas cartoons. I love cartoons, I've always loved them and I hope we can we can chat about this uh we can chat about this too. So um, um where should we start? Okay, this was a little hard to me to me because I love all of these <laughs> all of these cartoons and there are a lot of cartoons about Christmas. This is a story about a fight between uh, good and, and evil and these guardians are the tooth fairy, the um uh, the tooth fairy sandman, uh, we have the Easter egg and then there is um of course this uh, this guy which is called Jack Frost and we'll find this name again on my uh, top five movies, Christmas movies, and um, I don't know, it's a really nice one, but I have to be honest, I it, it's not my favorite. For place we find the Polar Ex Express. It is a great theme, it is a great story, it's the story of this kid who doesn't believe in Christmas, he thinks that um, Father Christmas doesn't exist and his mom and his dad put the presents under the tree and he doesn't believe in Christmas and when he falls asleep uh, the night um, Christmas on Christmas night he um, finds himself on a train a train that is a, brings him to the North Pole and um, to meet Father Christmas or Santa Claus how you want to call it and it's really nice and it's a really great theme I think it's really um, great but it's not really I don't want to say it's not a kid movie but I like you know old-fashioned um, cartoons like uh, the ones that were made in the 80s in the 90s um, this one almost seems too real the graphic is almost it's almost too real and uh, it is obviously a great great movie but uh, this is why it is at it is in fourth uh, uh, position a plus in this movie there's Tom Hanks voice so I think it is something really really great is one of my favorite actors of all time a third place we find a movie that I mean my top three are really the cartoons that took a special place in my heart and number three we find Arthur's Christmas which is a movie it's a recent movie and it's the story about uh, Arthur who is uh, uh, the son of Father Christmas. Father Christmas and his other son, older son, um, Steve, have to bring all the gifts to the kids, you know, but it's a really big job. It's exhausting because there are so many kids uh, in the world and they forget one. It is a bicycle that a little girl called Gwen uh, wanted and they think you know, it's not a problem, it's only one child over like a billion, why, what's the problem, we, we, there is, you know, an error is possible, but Arthur doesn't think the same, he thinks that um, Gwen should have her present, the present that she wanted so bad, so he decided to just start this adventure he decided that he would bring this uh, present to Gwen and um, it's a really funny story because uh, there's Arthur who is a small thin little guy uh, who doesn't really I mean 
he's not really you you wouldn't you wouldn't think that he is capable of something of something like that but his grandpa who used to be father christmas and uh, there is the old real original slate that he used and a little health as a, as an helper of course i think if you haven't watched it watch it because it is so 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 nice and um it's so cute fun there's magic there are the elves there's father christmas uh there's a little girl um there's the magic of christmas i think on second place and i will tell you why this is in second place which i, I was i was really devastated by the fact that i had to put this in second place but there's a reason um in second place we have the movie that everyone asks do you watch this at halloween or at christmas and the answer is both of them you watch on halloween and then on christmas and it's the night before christmas this is i think this is a genius um cartoon a genius movie it is great the songs are great the idea behind it is great um, for the ones of you that haven't seen it, which is probably one person in the whole world, um, Nightmare Before Christmas is the story of Jack Skeleton, Jack Skeleton who um, is a skeleton, and he lives in the town of Halloween with all of the like scary monsters that you find in Halloween during Halloween, and they their lives their lives evolve around halloween and they prepare the night of halloween uh the old year and one day he just uh, uh he trips <laughs> let's say that he trips and he found himself he finds himself into another world another world where there is christmas there is father's christmas and jack has this uh, uh plan he decides he decides to uh, take uh, father christmas and to bring the gifts uh, to the kids himself but he is he, not capable of that because is a Halloween person, is not a, a Christmas person. Songs, as I said, are, are really nice, are really great. Um, uh, Tim Burton is a genius. And this movie that combines Halloween with Christmas, I don't know, I think it's just something, you know, something different, something new. And uh, where is it? Look at that. There's my Jack Skeleton over here. I have this... Um, since I was a kid, so you know that he's just one of my favorite characters of all time, again. Um, at first place, we have A Christmas Carol. Um, there are a lot of versions of this movie slash cartoon. Um, there are recitals, there are um, plays, there are so many things that evolve around the Christmas Carol that comes from um, that come from a Christmas Carol from the book. A uh, Christmas Carol to me it's the perfect, perfect story, Christmas story. Kids should either uh, read a book or watch the movie or see a play as they are kids. Uh, when when they are when they still are kids. This is the story of Mr. Scrooge. I think that everyone knows, but this is the story of uh, Mr. Scrooge. And he is a, a cold heart man. He is ice man, freezing man. He doesn't care about anything but himself and money. And uh, there are these three ghosts, the uh, past, the present and the future one, that will show him what his past life, present life and future life will be like if he lives like that, without love, without a heart. With... And of course there's a little kid, there's a little kid who's sick and this is, um, I don't know, I think it's a story that really moves you. Um, I don't know, there's, um, there is a, a, a recent uh, um, cartoon 
but there's another one who is way older and it's um, with Mickey Mouse so if you have small children I suggest you to make them watch the Mickey Mouse one and then when they you know grow older they can watch the last one that came out a few years ago but it's a really moving story to really it's it's the as it's it's the a uh, heart of christmas to me someone else so bad that's so cold that just changing that changes himself during christmas he understands that something is wrong with his with his life and with it and with his being so 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 cold um that was my top five cartoon for Christmas. I hope you liked it. Um, tell me if you know some, if you know some other like mm, cartoons to watch at Christmas. Tell, you, tell me if you already watched uh, these ones that I listed, and tell me which one was your favorite, or if you have another favorite one. And um, see you tomorrow.